So you have bought an IPO. If you have bought an IPO, you already will have a DMAT account, obviously. So normally you need to approach a broker and tell them that I want to trade online. So open my trading account. So the they will open a trading account and along with that they will also open a DMAT account. So DMAT account has shares of companies which you purchase through online share trading. And uh, trading account has your money which is used for share trading or commodity trading or forex trading purpose. So in trading account you transfer money from your bank, you keep that money there to buy and sell every day the shares. And in DMAT account, you buy company, you pay money, and the shares are being transferred in electronic format. Now in old days, we used to receive printed shares, but nowadays, uh, the shares are kept in DMAT account. So like in bank account, you have money, in DMAT account, you have shares. So any broker can open. Share Khan, Angel Broking, Zeroda Securities, you know, the ICICI, SMC, anybody who can. But yes, I'll tell you in later course how to choose the right broker. Now, I won't say that Share Khan is a very good broker, Angel Broking is a very good broker. I won't endorse anybody, but I will tell you the method to find out who is a good broker. So you can do the due diligence of a broker yourself. Now, so this trading account is opened by your broker and linked to the bank. So you can easily transfer money from the bank to the trading account. And DMAT account is maintained by the NSDL or CSDL, CDSL. I'm sorry, this is wrong, CSDL, CDSL. So trading account is normally maintained by your broker, maybe share Khan Angel book, anybody. And the DMAT account is maintained by NSDL or CDSO. And these are linked to the broker. So normally the brokers are member of this CDSO and ED, you know, NSDL. This is National Depositories Limited and Central Depositories and Securities Limited. And these, you know, brokers also give you trading software through which you can punch the order and trade. Now, so the DMAT account is maintained by depositories or with the help of depository participants and uh, if we say we have two big depositors in India one is National Securities Depository Limited that is NSTL and they are having around 1.25 crore DMAT account and CDSL is around 80 lakhs DMAT account so in total around 2 crore people in India are having DMAT accounts which is comparatively less <laughs> let's look at your population it's 1.20 no 120 crores I guess so out of 120 crores, you are having only 2 crores as population. You know, sorry, 2 crores as just DMAT holders. It's pretty low. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a lot of scope in India, but God help. Anyways, the depositories have their, you know, agents, normally understood as depository participants, DBs. And they help in transferring the shares to the DMAT account. And this is the under, um, the under the umbrella of SEBI. So SEBI is basically the Security Exchange Board of India or the regulatory body of the Indian stock market. So if you have any problem, you can go to the SEBI website and complain them that this stockbroker did manipulation and they cheated me, they overcharged my account, this, that. So they take care of a lot of things. Now, SEBI was established in, you know, 1988 and given the statutory power in 1992. So it's very recent, around 20 years before. Now, so SEBI has to be responsible to the need of three group. You know, uh, issuer of the security, that means the company, the investors and the market intermediaries. That means the brokers, the banks, the depositories, you know. Now SEBI has broadly three functions, which is quasi-legislative, which means they can draft regulation in their uh, legislative capacity. So, jitna bhi unko samvidhan ke dwara adhikar diya gaya hai, 
से भी एक्ट के तहत उसके तहत वो रूल्स एंड लॉ पास कर सकते हैं सो लॉज टूवर्ड्स द स्टॉक मार्केट लॉ फॉर द स्टॉक मार्केट सो लाइक वे क्वासी जुडिशियल नाउ दे कैन डू यू नो जजमेंट्स दे कैन पास जजमेंट्स दे कैन यू नो हियर द you know appeal of investors the companies and they can do you know quasi executive work also like income tax department do they can investigate they enforce you know companies the, they they can take severe actions if the companies are not complying uh, the as per the rules now so how the online trading works uh, online trading is pretty simple normally you are an investor you have a computer or a mobile phone or a, you know you can you are connected normally through your computer to the broker's computer so there are thousand of investor uh, which are connected to a broker there are another thousand of investors connected to another broker and there are so many brokers you know there are 6000 brokers in india oops and around 70000 sub brokers in india there are so many people involved now all are you know your computer is connected to the server of broker and broker server is connected to the server of exchange so this is kind of an hub and spoke model so everybody is coming to the exchange so you if you are putting one quote let's say 100 rupees so everybody can see your quotation and i you are bidding for 100 rupees okay and anybody else can sell okay that your price if he wish so there's an hub and spoke model how your account is settled basically there is a clearing member in between so you want to buy our uh, shares so you give money and somebody wants to sell shares so they also give money okay so that money is kept as a security margin okay and you can do the trading and the profit and loss is settle and uh, let's say if you are putting your shares into holding then you don't have the seller doesn't have to give the money because you already have the shares so buyer goes give money they buy shares and they go online again and they sell the shares and they make money now so understand what is sebi understand what is exchange stock exchange who all are depositors clearing member broker banks then there are three types of investors you know so we have understood the you know role of exchange not in pretty much detail we will understand this thing we have not discussed too much about the exchange we will discuss about that and so many sebi deposit is not too much to understand brokers we going to discuss so we still remaining with this thing banks is common we know this now there are three kinds of investors fii's dii's or we call it institutional investor promoters and real retail investors now fii's or dii's that is the foreign institutional investor or domestic institutional investors now who all are they these are normally you can say mutual fund company you know some hedge funds are there you know some uh, you know other you know corporates they normally collect money from various sources they have a lot of money with them and they invest that money into your market so let's suppose the fii's have invested and fdi are invested around 20 lakh crores into your market that is huge and then you have promoters promoters are normally those guys who have either started the companies or they are closely associated with the company so you can say anybody is who's having around more than 5% share into a company is a promoter of the companies normally they are into board of directors or somebody who's very loyal to the company so you can say these guy may a guy who is a promoter of sipla will not be a promoter into renbexi 
so very closely associated people have invested a lot of money and clients or retail investor these are we people poor people with a lot of ambition dreams and less money in our pocket <laughs> with high hopes so we are retail investors so these are three groups which are broadly investing into the market so what do you need for online trading obviously bank account money trading account demat account computer internet connection knowledge experience and emotional control now what do you you know need to see in a broker before buying shares now this is about the due diligence of a broker so i'll come to this again let's understand what kind of trading is done online now you have two markets you have cash market and you have derivatives market so discuss first about the cash market in cash market we can do day trading or we call it intraday trading and in delivery market normally in holdings uh we normally buy shares and uh, we keep it for some time maybe 10 days 5 days a year one month and then sell so delivery we also say as holdings so we buying share keeping into our demat account and sell later on so normally investors and in intraday we buy the same day and we sell the same day now so what happens in intraday hold on for a second no so what happens when you do intraday trading normally intraday trading can be done between 9:15 am to 3:30 pm you know sorry 3 pm it is best to do trading between this period so normally after 3 pm the national stock exchange will start squaring off your position so let's say you can decided to buy a share at 100 at 9:15 and the share went to 102 and uh, you want to sell you can sell and make profit and uh, if you want to you know sell at 1 pm you sell at 102 you make profit but let's say at 3 pm the price is 98 you have to sell if you don't sell after some time the national stock exchange will sell the same day so your loss will be booked so you how you should book if you don't book it uh, there may be some penalty from the national stock exchange so it's better that uh, you should uh, scare off your position before the nsc does it for you okay now in cash market you cannot carry the trade for more than one day you have to close the position same day but the benefit is two one is you enjoy the leverage so enjoy the leverage means normally your broker gives you 10 times leverage or limit so which means that if you have 10000 rupees to trade your broker gives you 10 times leverage that means you can buy shares for around 100000 that means 1 lakh so you get credit 10 times but you have to buy and sell the same day so you can buy for more sell for more your profit is multiplied by 10 times because your money becomes 10 times okay so one benefit is that you get leverage another benefit for intraday is you can do long position as well as short position a long position is like when you think you are bullish in the market bullish means you that you think the market will go up so you buy first let's say at 100 price goes to 120 in one day it does not go 120 but let's say 105 102 and you sell and you make money so you buy at lower price you sell at higher price you make money short position is like when you think the market will go down so you are bearish so believe that the shares will go down so you sell at a higher price and it falls below you buy so you close your position by buying so how do you Uh, you know close your position let's you're into long you buy first and sell your you know position 
and then close it basically you buy and sell your position is closed so you make 20 here profit and if you sell at 100 and then you buy at a lower price you make money so that's again your profit so you when you sell first then you have to close by position by buying and if you have bought first you have to sell to close your position okay to make your profit now understand one thing if you have bought at 100 and price went down let's say at 90 you will lose two rupees because you thought the price will go up but it went down and if, if it would have gone up so you make profit but it goes down you lose and for intraday you have to exit the same day you cannot carry the position but tomorrow let's say if it will come up you make profit but you cannot hold it for tomorrow in intraday that is the drawback so like when you sell at 100 you buy at 80 you make money but what if it goes to 110 then you lose 10 you have to close your position that day so that is the problem okay but if you're trading and deliver your holdings that means you can buy any time of the day and intraday also you can buy any time of the day at 1 p.m. you buy you sell at 2 p.m. you sell after 1 p.m. and holding also you can buy at any time but you can keep it forever till the company is alive you sell after one month you sell after 10 days you sell after a year you sell after six years doesn't matter okay so you have one option into holding that means you can do long position long position means you buy first and then sell later on so you make money and you can keep it for more than one day forever you can keep whenever you want to sell but in this situation you don't get leverage don't get leverage <coughs> and you can not take short position so this is two drawbacks so if you're an investor you want to hold for long you can take holdings otherwise normally I recommend for new traders to trade in holdings these are safe and it gives you four or five returns per month if the market is volatile So I have logged into my trading account. So pretty simple to trade. Boom. The market is closed right now, but yes, I will tell you how to be buy and sell. I'll tell you the way, but you can do it yourself. These are pretty simple things, pretty simple things. So first of all, I'm opening a market watch window. Now I need to add scripts, those scripts I want to trade, those companies. So I click on add a script. Select the company which I want to buy. Let's say I want to buy Tata Power, T-A-T-A-P-O-L-E-R. So I have Tata Power, I add these companies. I want to buy SBI, SBI. So I have State Bank of India. I add this thing. I want to buy Oriental Bank. So Oriental Bank of India. Quit. So I see these shares. So which one I should buy? Let's say I double click here. I see the price. What is the chart is telling me or maybe you can buy randomly you have to do a little bit analysis before buying so let's say do some analysis just look at these prices whoa so the highest price it went was around 337 and now currently selling 150 almost 50 percent down more than 50 percent down amazing so shall i buy this company or not let's say I decide to buy so what I do is I right click here I go to the buy script now I have option buy 
on National Stock Exchange, SBI.in. This is the script code. As I said, the script code is signed to the company. Series is equity EQ and quantity I decide, let's say five shares. Disclose price. Now, so disclosed quantity. I'm so sorry, disclosed quantity. Let's say I want to keep it one, I can give it one. Now what the disclosed quantity? Disclosed quantity means uh let's say I want to buy one like shares. And if I don't disclose here lesser shares, let's say I can disclose 10,000 shares here. So I actually want to buy 1 lakh shares and I put 10,000 in disclosed quantity. So what will happen is, let's look at this one. Now here we can see this is a market death window. So you know the top 5 buyers list and top 5 sellers list. So it will reflect here that one buyer wants to buy 1 lakh share of this company. In that situation, uh, the sellers will increase the price. To save you from these kind of problem, NSC gives you an option to disclose lesser number of shares so that people don't increase the price. So this doesn't hampers your number of quantity. Aapko ek lakh chahiye, ek lakh shares hi milenge, but display hoga das hazar sirf logo ko taki log price na bada. So to save you from you know mispricing it is there dusra aapke paas option hai ki hum kis rate pe kharide if i put zero here that means you will buy at the market price market price ka matlab hai jis rate pe bhi abhi bik raha hai ye current market price ka column hai this rate pe bhi ye bik raha hai it's trading at 151 theek hai aur agar hum apna rate dalna chahte nahi i want to buy at 150 so i put my price तो अगर हम जीरो छोड़ देंगे तो बाजार में जो भी भाव खरीद लेगा इमीडिएटली खरीद लेगा और अगर वी वांट टू यू नो पुट आर प्राइस इफ यू वांट टू पुट आर प्राइस यू डोंट वांट टू बाय द मार्केट प्राइस देन वी पुट आर ओन प्राइस सो इन दैट सिचुएशन दिस विल टेक द ऑर्डर बट इट विल नॉट एग्जीक्यूट सो व्हाट हैपेंस इफ आई पुट जीरो हियर इज इफ इट इमीडिएटली टेक द ऑर्डर एंड इमीडिएटली एग्जीक्यूट इट so you will have the share purchase at 151.80 and if you put your rate let's say 148 it will take immediate order but will not execute immediately why because nobody is selling at 148 this is the cheapest price in the market so your order will be a pending order when the price will come down your trade will execute and if price doesn't come down your order will be cancelled at the day of, at the end of day automatically. Now you have two options here. Now there is your DP account. Now product type, investment or big trade. Investment means you want to do a delivery based trading or holding based trading. So you buy the share, you keep it forever or one month, 10 months, whatever you wish, more than one day. And big trade means I want to buy today and sell today. So for intraday, I select this thing and place the order. It will take my order. Currently, it's telling the market is closed now. But if we select investment, then this validity is activated. Now, if I select here big trade, the validity is locked. Now, if you select investment, the validity is open. Now, what is validity? Now, validity kya hoti hai? Validity is basically the validity of my order or the price. I am putting 148 as the price and I am selecting GFD as the validity. Now what do you mean by GFD? GFD stands for good for the day. That means manage your price ka rate dala hai. Agar wo rate pure din mein aa jai, to mera trade execute kar lena. Agar nahi aai, to next deal ke liye cancel. Mai kal dousra rate dalunga. So this means if the during the entire day, if the price comes to 148 okay if the price comes to 148 from 151 execute my trade if during the entire day it does not come any time cancel my order i'll see another day what i have to do let's see if i take my good till date gtd good till date which means place my order and my order will be let's say valid till 29th of this month. So till 29th if the price falls to 148 take my order otherwise cancel it. So till a particular date this will be the price given by me. 
if any of these during date price falls to this rate, take it otherwise cancel it. And then we have IOC that calls immediate or cancelled. That means I am placing my order at 148. If I get it in second, within a second, right now, execute my trade or cancel my trade. So, this is the thing that you are property, you have a rate, you have a dealer, you have a crore, 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 अब बोलते हो 90 लाख का दो पूरा दिन वेट कर लूंगा आ जाओगे तो ठीक है नहीं तो फिर मैं दूसरे से ले लूंगा अदरवाइज आप बोलते हो भाई साहब 10 तारीख तक देख लो 90 लाख का रेट है दोगे तो 10 तारीख तक वेट कर लूंगा नहीं तो मैं दूसरे से ले लूंगा एंड देयर इज वन मोर ऑर्डर दैट इज कॉल्ड जीटीसी गुड टिल कैंसल्ड दैट इज नॉट इन इंडियन मार्केट बट इन यूएस मार्केट यू हैव गुड टिल कैंसल्ड मींस टेक माय ऑर्डर 90 लाख रुपए का जब आ जाओ मैं खरीद लूंगा आई एम एनी टाइम ओपन दैट इज गुड टिल कैंसर सो दैट मींस आई पुट माय प्राइस ऑफ 140 लेट्स से गॉड सेक फॉर गॉड सेक इट कम्स आफ्टर 6 इयर्स योर शेयर्स विल बी बॉट आफ्टर 6 इयर्स दैट ऑर्डर विल बी केप्ट इन द सिस्टम फॉर दोस लॉन्ग पीरियड अंटिल अनलेस आई कैंसिल इट माइसेल्फ my order is valid. So, this GTC is a little risky for the brokers, so they removed it. Okay, so you place the order, your shares are being bought. And later when price goes up or down, you want to sell, you sell the script, the number of quantity you bought, you sell it at your price, make profit. So that's how you trade. I'll show you in live trading someday at the daytime. So that's pretty easy. You know, and there are silly things, small things. I'll explain you about all these tools in upcoming classes. So there are many advanced tools. We'll understand how do we do the initial screening, shortlisting of the shares. So which means uh, which shares to buy, which shares to sell. How do we shortlist? Ki aaj agar intraday trading karni hai, to hume kaun sa share mein trading karenge? So how are we gonna figure out? that uh, these stocks are good for intraday trading for today. So we'll discuss all those things in upcoming class. Okay. So for today, it was very